this lecture we will see we will see and understand what is the meaning of degree of dissociation so degree of dissociation is represented by this alpha form that we know that uh, and uh, it is actually the fraction of substance degree of dissociation is actually fraction of substance uh, present in or in dissociated form so it is present in, in the reactions or it is present in the form of dissoci dissociation or we can write in the form most dissociated by total number of most present initially so let us see how we can write this expression into by seeing the examples so there are different ways to express the degree of dissociation so this is one equation i have taken so 2hi this is a homogeneous gas equation chemical reactions so this is one and this is initial this is your one this will be zero zero then x is the degree of dissociation of this one so if you are taking one see x x this becomes your one minus two x y two because this is two more two minus x so this much uh, this much percent has been reduced so we can write uh, uh, alpha is the degree of dissociation so alpha is equal to uh, summation of this because most dissociated is this much and divide by a uh, total most present initially the total most was one so two x by one so this is nothing but the x plus x similarly in this case we can write 2 hi equal to h2 plus i2 so initially most will be a we can write here a also here one here this is an another way to expression see if you are taking a so this will be your x by 2 half this is 2 so this is half so a means this is half so x by 2 x by 2 and this will be your a minus 2 into x by 2 so this is nothing but the 2 into x by 2 so this will cancel so we will get x so alpha equal to x by a so x is the x plus 2 plus x plus 2 a and divide by a so this is given here in the third case if we see so in the case of third 2 hi equal to h2 plus i2 so this is the initial a so we can write here x x also so here we need to write a minus 2x we can represent like this also so here alpha will be again again uh, summation of this 2 divided by a so most dissociated by total most present initially in this case 2hi a h2 plus i2 so initial mole a suppose you are taking so we can also write a into x by 2 a into x by 2 then this will be a into a minus x a into x like this one because this is x i have already taken one more so we can write summation of this divided by total is a so this will be your x so next is your if you write in terms of pressure because moles is proportional to pressure moles is proportional to pressure so we can write this is the pressure zero zero so this will be your if it is p this will be half p by 2 p by 2 and this will be a capital p minus p dissociated so this is the p dissociated dissociated like this one so alpha equal to summation of these two pressure divided by p so this will equal to your uh, p dash by capital p so this is again way of dissociation again this is 2hi h2i2 so if you're writing p this will be uh, p into p dash p into p dash so this will be p into 1 minus p dash because this is 1 this is the 1 1 molecule so we can write it p minus p dash so again derivative uh, will be summation of this divided by capital in this capital p so 2 into p dash so we can also write in terms of moles that is if c a a so this will be your x by 2 x by 2 this c minus x so alpha equal to x by 2 into x by concentration if you're writing 2 hi plus h2 plus i2 so this is c 0 0 so this will be c into x by 2 x by 2 because half you are taking because this is 2 this is the half of 2 so this is will be half of and again this will be 1 minus x dash so we can write here alpha equal to c into x by c so x dash there is a different way of expression of most so we will get the different result so better we will take the one this one and this will be your alpha so this will be we will get the proper result expression of degree of dissociation from density in measurement so degree of dissociation we have already seen there is a fraction of one molecule dissociated and it is denoted by the alpha and this alpha is always 
less than 1. If it is 1, if you are taking this means some substances completely dissociated. So at equilibrium, alpha is, uh, is reversible, may be obtained with the help of vapor density of equilibrium mixture. So here we have inter uh, introducing one term is called vapor density of the equilibrium mixture. So now let us take one ideal equation that is uh, whose, guys equation, whose equation is PV equal to NRT. So N we can write W by capital M, M RT, uh, what is W? Uh, weight of the gas mixture and M is the molecular mass of the gas substances. So again we can convert this W into W by V into so mass is this side, pressure and volume uh, you bring this side, so this becomes your density R D by P. So uh, we can remove this uh, molar mass in terms of density also. So we know vapor density equals M by 2. So we can write here uh, vapor density instead of this M by 2. So M by 2 will be your uh, so this is your uh, vapor C, so this is a density RT by 2 into P and the P equal to NRT by V, so we can write here P equal to NRT by using the gas equation, so cancelling this thing, so we will get density into uh, vapor density, density to volume by 2 into N, so any the number of moles, volume is constant, density is constant, is, this is constant, so all these terms are constant, these terms are actually constant. So, for a relation at equilibrium, both volume and density are constant, then we can write vapor density inversely proportional to the number of moles in the reaction vessel. So, here we got one relationship vapor density is proportional to the number of moles in the reaction vessel. So, which we can write in this form. So, just see carefully total number of moles at equilibrium divided by total number of moles taken initially. This is nothing but the alpha. And uh, which can write here vapor density initially divided by vapor density equilibrium. So this is inversely proportional to this one, and this is inversely proportional to this one. So these are cross multiplication. And again, vapor density proportional to molar mass, and vapor density also proportional to molar mass at equilibrium. So there are three relationships. So keep in mind this is inversely, but this is proportionally. This is inversely, this is proportional. Vapor density proportional to molar mass and vapor density inversely proportional to number of moles at equilibrium. So taking this formula, we can solve next equations. Now consider a, a reversible equation that is general equation AG that is converted to N into B, the gas form. So in AC, the number of moles is 1, 0. This is the 1, this will be 0. This is a type 1. Here, dissociation of nature of reactant take place. So this will be number of moles at equilibrium will be n into alpha is 1 minus alpha. So total moles at equilibrium will be 1 minus alpha plus alpha. So this much is there. Now let the initial volume be v liters. So volume at v at equilibrium will be how much? Initial volume v liters, the volume at equilibrium will be how much? The total moles into volume. That is the total volume at equilibrium. Again we are taking D, so D is the observed vapor density at a particular temperature when the degree of dissociation is alpha. And what is capital D? Capital D is a vapor density when there is no degree of dissociation. So we are assuming two terms. One is when there is no degree of dissociation, when there is a degree of dissociation. So we can write a vapor density inversely proportional to 1 by mole into V. That is this much. Already we have seen it, mole into V. So I am just repeating once again. Uh -huh. So this is nothing but the this by this. So mole into V, where alpha equal to 1, 4 because this is where there is no degree of dissociation, so alpha will be 1. At equilibrium, after dissociation, so vapor density equal to 1 by 1 plus n minus 1 into alpha into V. So this is this equilibrium. So, so these are two equations, equation number 1, equation number 2. So if you divide it, so on dividing, what we will get? Uh, this capital D by D will be equal to 1 plus n minus 1 into alpha. So here from alpha you can find out. So alpha will be equal to uh, 1 uh, capital D minus D this value or 1 by n minus 1 into capital D minus D by D where D is the vapor density at equilibrium. This is a vapor density when there is no equilibrium. So let us take one example also so it will be easy to understand. PCL5 at gas is dissociated into PCL3 plus Cl2. So here n is equal to 2, n is equal to means how many moles dissociated, this is the moles dissociated, means particle dissociated, particle dissociated. So how many particles dissociated, 1, 2, here is also, only 2 is given, so we can put here value n minus 1, so this was the n minus 1, so here if you put n equal to 2, so it becomes your 1, so capital D minus D by D, so this is the one formula, in terms of molar mass we can also write, 
alpha equal to m minus m n minus 1 into m because vapor density is proportional to mass so already we know that vapor density is proportional to m this we know that so m is the initial molar mass of the reactant small m is the cap molar mass at equilibrium and n is the number of gaseous moles a uh, gaseous uh, moles of product formed by one molar of reactant and uh, capital m is 2 into vapor density m is 2 into density so this we know already and capital d and d are the respective vapor densities now in second case suppose reactions take place Association nature of reaction will take place. Like uh, when N is converted into E to the N, means the reactant is dimerized, trimerized, or tetramerized, or polymerized. So, in that case, how we can find this one? Alpha degree of association. So, initial moles is suppose 1, this is converted to A, and at equilibrium, this will be your alpha by N. Alpha by N because it is dimerizing, so we have to divide it. So, this will be 1, 1 minus alpha, or we can write N into alpha by N. So, both will be equal to each other. What is N? And it can be dimer, trimer, tetramer. It can be dimerized, trimerized, or tetramerized. So total moles after association at equilibrium. So 1 minus alpha plus this one. This is the association. So capital D by D will be this value. So from here alpha will be N divided by N minus 1 D by cap D minus capital D by D. So this is just, just uh, somewhat reverse of this one. So you can see this is the alpha equal to during dissociation this is value. And uh, during association, this is our value. Now we have one more uh, point: uh, degree, relation between degree of dissociation and pressure temperature of a system. So let take chemical a reversible chemical reaction which is carried out in a vessel with definite volume and temperature. So initially the pressure of that reaction is P1, and at equilibrium it becomes P2. So let us take one example. Suppose this is a reactant converted to B plus C. So at uh, equilibrium at uh, initial moles are A 0, 0 and this will be equilibrium at equilibrium A minus A into alpha and this is A into alpha and A into alpha. So total moles will be A plus A plus alpha or A into 1 plus alpha. So add it this one. So example we had uh, for uh, degree of dissociation this is P cell 5 equal to P cell 3 plus 0. You can take any one. No problem. So according to ideal gas equation if temperature are same. If temperature are same then Initial condition is P1 V equal to A into RT where A is the initial mole. A is the initial mole and at equilibrium condition P2 into V equal to A into 1 plus alpha into RT. So let me see this value so that you will easily understand. So you, let me, you can see this reaction. Ah, yes, like this. So it will be easy to understand. So from here A is there. So P1 V equal to A into RT. P2 V equal to A into 1 plus alpha into RT. So Dividing this by this, so if you divide this by this, this will be cancelled. So A into A into 1 plus alpha or this equal to 1 plus alpha. So alpha will be equal to P2 by P1 minus 1. So this was the temperature same. Suppose temperature is different. Then instead of writing T1, so we write here T2, initial T1, this will be T2. So equation from 1 to this will be P1, V1 equal to A into R, T1. And this will be P2 into V. P2 into V equal to A into 1 plus alpha into RT. So P1 by P2 equal to T1 by 1 plus alpha into T2. And alpha will be equal to T1 by T2 into P2 by P1 minus 1. So this will be our answer. So keeping the mind all this formula, we can solve problem. So after this, we will see some solved examples.